Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Dan's Great here with more from this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy X-2, the HD Remastered Edition. And as you can see, Riku is in her goon outfit ready for the infiltration mission in Chateau Leblanc. So we need two more uniforms and I'm gonna get, and I'm gonna get straight on with it. And to get the second one, we're gonna head to Beacon Elf for the first time. So let's see what the island that was the home to the Albed has become. We already got the the digging stuff from uh, from Gipel, the the documents that we needed to be able to dig there. So it's become a hot spot as well. So let's check it out. Three stars shouldn't be too bad. Yep. All right, cool. Let's see what this digging stuff is all about. I have to remember to use some of the stuff that I've got, like a uh, Yuna's dre special dress sphere and the alchemist dress sphere as well. Because I haven't used those, well, I don't really use the special dress spheres anyway, like I said, but I definitely haven't used Alchemist before in Final Fantasy X 2, so it should be interesting. Uh, okay, so you remember the negator from, uh, from the crawler boss battle. Wow. Damn. Okay, so there's a particular woman I need to speak to and give her the letter from Gimple, but I need to speak to everyone else first. Okay, so she seems to kind of run things around here. Yes. Oh yeah, alright, okay. I'm not going to mess around too much. Let's talk to her. She looks suspiciously like the woman that led us to Dark Ifrit. I don't trust her. All manner of interesting things wash up on the banks of the oasis. Beacon Elf's only connection to the outside world are the skies and the oasis. Okay. Wait, I swear this was the woman. I guess I'm wrong. My bad, it's Lina. I'm busy, so make it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Uni, show her Gipple's letter. Uh, I've got this letter. Oh, so you're the new guys. That's us. Nice to meet you. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. Okay, no messing around. Straight in with the... Oh, okay. Oh, before you start digging, I'd really like you to go check out the Oasis for me. Some strange stuff's been washing up there lately. I'd appreciate it if you looked into it. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, cool. I mean, this seems like the kind of thing that the Albed would probably have already been doing with all the technology they have, and the fact that they were living in Beacon L, so... I don't know why there's this sudden new influx of stuff. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, cool. So wait, is this not the pilot? Yes. Okay, let's get straight into the oasis, see what awaits us there. Okay, what are we doing? They love their puns in these little mission descriptions. Too late to say no now. It's off to check the oasis for Nardala. If anyone gets in your way, hurt first, ask questions later. Let's get the oasis. Okay. Let's do that. Hopefully en route we should get some we should get a uniform. That's why we're here. Ah, oh, memories. That's where Titus was washed up. Well, I guess not. It's an individual body of water, so I don't know how he gets washed up, but there you go. Look, a sphere! Ah, there we go. That's the third and final special sphere. Dress sphere, sorry. There we go. We have them all now. That's good. Well, fancy meeting you here. 
You can lead a gullwing to water, but you can't make it drink. Um... Say, those are nice uniforms. Enough of this nonsense! Okay, I wasn't expecting the boss battle to happen here, so I can't get the Alchemist Dress Ooh. Sphere out yet. But we have two uniforms, so that looks pretty cool. Okay, his evasion still seems pretty good. Doing well for him that time. Parting is such yeah, sweet the Fem Goons. Yeah, it looks pretty much identical to last time. Nothing special going on here. He'll probably chuck a grenade or two as well. Missed. Great. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I'm pretty sure none of this is going to work, but so the battles don't play out identically every time. I'm just trying to mess around and do different things. Oh, it does work. Whoa. Let's see what the, the Fem Goons do here. I'm curious to see if they'll... They'll wake him up. Takers keepers. Let's see how he does against magic. I really wasn't expecting him to be susceptible to sleep. Because in boss battles, status effects haven't really been working too much. But I guess he is human, so it's pretty normal for him to be susceptible to sleep. We all are. Ah, I've got Thundara as well. Good. Almost all the level 2 spells. Nice. So is that two uniforms now, or is one going to get away? I'm pretty sure there's one more location. Coolio, so we've got a sphere and a uniform. That worked out well. Yeah, it's only giving us one. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we have to go to Gagazette for the next one. I certainly remember the, the cutscenes there. Hour of Need Garment Grid. Okay. I think I'm done. I don't need to do too much more in Beacon L, to be honest. From here on out, anything I do is optional. Okay, already back on the airship. There we go. So yeah, like I said, I don't plan to hang around in Beacon L and do digging and that kind of stuff. So unless the story takes me back to Beacon L, I will probably not be going there again. Okay, that's two. So we didn't get an explanation of how the other goon got away, but that one. Um... Let me quickly pop into Guado Salam in case uh, once I have the third uniform it automatically triggers the mission without allowing me to, to browse around. Because I want to check out the uh, the little mini game, well it's not a mini game, it's a little mission that will enable me to earn some quick gil, so I just want to check it. Again it's something I've never done in my playthroughs before. So apparently here there's someone who sells data and you have to uh, talk to the right people within Guado Salam to be able to uh, to earn money from this little data selling stuff. And once you complete that mini mission, you should be able to get yourself enough guild to pay off a worker's debt. So let's just see how this works. Because it wasn't something I was planning on doing, because getting it through encounters alone is just, it takes too long. Okay. I'm just going to talk to everyone because I have no idea who I'm looking for. Yeah, I've already talked to this guy, I forgot. Okay, just bear with me while I find this mysterious data person. Oh, is it just him? Okay, yes. Got any data? Okay. This guy's got the same uh, character model as the guy who's looking for a wife. It's interesting, it's, it's a new one for this game. Yep, yeah, okay. 
So it begs the question, why would he not do it himself? He's just too lazy. I mean, they're all within Guado Salam. It's all walking distance. I think I have 10,000 gil. Yes, I do. Okay, now listen well, as I will tell you the person, I will tell you of the person you should seek. Okay, this guy's in a place you wouldn't expect. Surely you have some idea of whom it is I speak, my lady. Okay, again, pun title, excellent. Use the hints provided to hunt down the person Guado Salam who's out for some data. Press square to trick, uh, talk to your target into making his purchase pretty quick. No one wants old news. Okay. Hmm. Right. He's somewhere you wouldn't expect. Um. Is it like the far plane or something? I'm going to head up to the far plane because everywhere else is just pretty standard locations, right? And well, it would be nice to see what the far plane looks like unless they're not letting us through. Oh, come on. Damn it. Somewhere you wouldn't expect. Oh wow. Um, well, there's not really that many places to travel. I wonder if I'm able to do it in this chapter. Or do I need access to somewhere else first? Well, that's not really telling me too much, somewhere you wouldn't expect. I need to get my thinking cap on here. I mean, that's the person with the monster arena. Don't have the faintest clue. <laughs> if you say so. I honestly don't know, I'm just gonna have to try everyone. <laughs> or do you get three attempts? Shit. Oh damn it. I'm gonna reload. Shit, I'm gonna reload. So I failed on the first one, damn it. I need to make sure I get all of them before I can get the uh, final prize at the end, so that's why you save regularly, people. Okay, so I've done a little bit of digging and I've found out the uh, the secret behind this, behind this data dealer thing. It turns out that you can only do it just the once and there's a whole bunch of different people that it could be. And there's one in particular that we're looking for that will be uh, that will give us a hundred thousand gil as a reward. So in order to do that, what you what you really need to do is uh, is have a save at Guado Salam, and then keep resetting until you get the person that you're looking for. So because that's probably going to make it's just going to waste too much of my time. I'm going to give it one final go, and I'm not going to bother with the hundred thousand gil because I can't be bothered to spend like ten minutes resetting to to get what I need because the whole reset process takes a while. So I thought it was one of these things where, you know, you do it once and then you go for another bit of data, etc, etc, but it turns out it's just a one-off thing, so I need to... And I think, I'm assuming every time you get it wrong, you lose, like, a certain multiplier of the money, that's why I only got 10,000 gil the second time, because I got it on the third attempt. So let's try again. I mean, if you really do need the 100,000 gil and you really want to pay off a worker's debt now, it's, uh, it's a good idea to keep resetting until you get what you need. Um, okay. I have no idea what this guy is doing. Obviously, while I was checking out, there was a list of uh, who you know each person is, but... I don't remember this hint, so I'm in the dark on this one. Is there someone 
doing anything weird. Maybe it's the high pillar that I spoke to last time. Because everyone else just seems to be standing around. It's probably the high pillow. I think the first hint was uh, the guy behind the shop, based on what I read. Alright, let's try. Ah, yes. <laughs> you scratch my back, I will scratch yours. That's reasonable, indeed. Cha-ching. Wow, okay, so there you go, that's 50,000 gil. Not too bad at all. Like I said, if you want the 100,000, you're going to have to keep resetting for it. But I thought, um, even though it's not designed to be an a educational walkthrough like Final Fantasy X, I thought I'd show you guys that because it's a, it's a pretty neat trick if you want to pay off a worker's, a worker's debt fairly early. So thank you to uh, whoever it was that pointed that out to me in one of the, the comments. It's probably a guy called Mark You Will, because he seems to be one of the, the biggest contributors in the comments, uh, telling people about stuff. So, If it was someone else, I apologise. I will shout you out in the next video if it is someone else. Okay, let's head to, to Gagazette for the final... for the final outfit. Okay, Kimari hasn't moved much since the start of the game. Kimari sorry. Sorry about what? Kimari look for sphere for Yuna, but Kimari find nothing. Kimari disappoint Yuna. It's all right, Kimari. Of course, I'm happy that you tried to help, but Yuna has to deal with Yuna problems. Kimari search mountain long time, but still one place Kimari not look. Fade scar rises high on mountain. Scar is sacred ground, which Ramso not tread. There might still be some spheres up there. Summoners no longer climb mountain. Now only sphere hunters come. Kimari worry hunters defile sacred ground. Do you think it's LeBlanc and her goons? Maybe we should check. Is that okay? Kimari trust Yuna. Kimari not worry. Okay, coolio. So there we have a sniff of uh, LeBlanc and her gang, and that means more uniforms, so we're gonna have to head to Face Scar. Ronso youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kimari. Oh, okay. You stop them by four, so you have to. That's a bit much. You have to figure this out on your own, or you just leave them alone. Kimari agree with you, no? Hmm. Elder who rely on other, not worthy. I didn't mean it that way, Kimari. Kimari, thank you, no. Burden of elder lighter now. Okay, so I think we did give the right response. I didn't realize we were going to have another kind of list to select from, that's why I skipped the, the dialogue at the start. Don't know if it can Roll continues. Of elder test Kimari more than cold mountain winds. Well he is young, I guess, for an elder. He's still in his twenties, I think, based on the timeline, so yeah, he is pretty young. Worry is great burden on elder's shoulders. Um well, yeah, this seems, I mean, this kind of sounds a bit accusatory, so I don't want to offend uh, this Ronso, Ronsoette. Worry can bring great men to their knees, even elder. Guado must die for Ronso future. What future will that bring? She's probably just going to say a better one. Yeah. So, the, but then again, they've just been pacing around, just being angry. They're not really doing anything about it. 
Garrick will march, fight, run so enemies, fight Guado. Can you think of nothing but fighting? That's exactly what I said. Please try to think about it some more. Will that make you satisfied? Well, I guess we have to try and cool off the situation as much as possible. Okay, fine. Sorry, bros. Run so youth grows. Garrick swear to mountain. Garrick avenge murdered Ronzo. Uh, I think it sounds like if I say, have you talked with Kamari, he's just going to say, fuck Kamari. He's not worthy of being an elder anyway. Garrick know this, but who punish Guado if Ronzo not go? Elsha is weakling, Garrick moved too slow, Guado will escape us. Yeah, I think this is probably the the wisest thing to choose. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Like I said, he's just been stood here thinking for, for the entire game. Have I talked to this guy? No. Albed to suffer at the hands of Guado. Guado is source of much chaos. He's right. But it seems that way, definitely. The Albed don't seem to be speaking of the Guado. <laughs> the Albed are basically pussies. Right, okay. Yeah, these guys are a real tough bunch. 